Oh my god, we actually hit him. Oh god. Oh, he's getting up there though. Oh god. Oh god, we're gonna die. Oh, he's breaking our stuff. Come on, come on. Tank him. We've got the amazing armor. We got this. <gasps> he's out. He's out. <laughs> he's out. He wants regular kibble. What's going on, guys? TBF Gaming, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark Survival Evolved. We're jumping back into some new things today on Crystal Isles with a little bit of Archaic Ascension, a little bit of Gaia. You can see behind us, we are in a new spot. We're at the top of the mountain. We're actually not too far from where our previous base was. It's going to be a little bit hard to see because of the rain, but it's right there. You can see our actual spot. We're straight above it on the mountain. This wyvern over here is actually ours from the first time we played through when we were doing some play testing. Uh, so it's ours once again because we just got invited back into the tribe. So we're back in the adventurer's tribe. Good to go. We placed a water thing over here because there was a water vein. Let me see if I can show you. Hold on. Does it, like, collect? I just want to make sure it's not something I should not pick up. Uh, it doesn't have a pickup option. I could pick it up with a, a thing. But basically there's a little water thing on the ground. We placed it on top. And now we can drink water. There we go. So now we're good to go. That was the one worry about moving up here is if I was going to be too far away from water. So we switched to, to wood. We're going to switch to stone really soon because we can pretty much do that now. We're already level 40. Oh, wow. 44 now. So let's go one, two, three. There we go. Yeah, already level 40 something because we, we can start now getting into some really cool stuff. Uh, let's see. Wow, we unlocked so much. We're going to have to go through and actually figure out all the stuff we did lock here. So many things. 44. We're actually into the greenhouse stuff. Nice. And we got some of the bronze stuff. So let's do this. Let's look up the bronze weapons, the zinc weapons, there we go, zinc coated ghillie chest piece. Now we did get a drop during the night time, it had some amazing stuff on it too. We've got whatever a Pavilon's love stick is, let's see this one increases the possibility for him to mate, increases torpor dill and harvest. So interesting, so it's a love stick, I don't really know. We've also got some coated ghillie pants which do 570 what does that say 579 armor which is pretty amazing uh so if you guys do enjoy today's episode as we're running around doing some things here make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're new leave a comment down below i think it's finally time to go out and get a couple things done so we're, we've been doing a little bit of base stuff let me take a break from that we've got all of our different things kind of sorted out here we're starting to figure things out we also did get a bronze hatchet from that drop and it is amazing i'll show you how good it is in just a second all right, that's going to be weapons right here. Place all that inside here. I will place that in there too. All right, we'll keep a little bit of berries on us. We will take the FMK station with us. If I Actually, let's just make another one. Take that with us. And I think that's the main stuff. It was one of these right here, the water veins is, that what, is the thing that we found there a second ago. All right, I think we got everything we want. We need our arrows, and then we're good to go. All right, we've got some of our arrows. There we go. Uh, let's take our trike with us in case we do need to kill anything. So we'll take this guy with us. Like that. All right, and then let's transfer all that just into one of the storages. Actually, let's put it on our Equus. That's our, this is our unicorn, actually. This has a really cool saddle on it from one of the mods. It's either the Saddle Emporium or the Ecos Primordial. I forget which one this one's from. But it's pretty cool. It just looks really great. And it actually does a little bit better armor. It's got 60 armor, which is not too bad. This is just a Pteranodon, but he's got a cool costume on, uh, which is part of the Primitive Trophosphere Pteranodon saddle. And it actually allows him to sting, which I haven't got a chance to try yet, but we'll try it in just a minute. And then this is our Dreadful Raptor 509. Really cool, actually. The Oh, he's got some levels, too. Very nice. Definitely a big fan of that. We do need a Death Recovery. Hold on. Let's do that. Personal Grave. Can I make that? Good, good, good. That's the big thing we need. That way, if, in case we die, we will have all of our stuff. All right, there we go. Perfect. Make sure that's assigned to us. And you know what we're going to do is... Oh, good, it's finally some sunlight. Let's go ahead. We're going to take you like this, too. And now that we're not as worried about losing you, we're going to take you with us, too. There we go. And then I want to make a parachute. Have I learned parachute yet? Para... Parachute. Oh, there's a Gaia parachute. Use this while falling to slow your fall. Jump while parachuting to deactivate. And it is reusable. But you need a dreadful and a... 
divine soul. So we'll definitely have to get into that pretty soon. All right, let's head down. We're going to go ahead and craft a parachute. We're going to take the leap and go down here and see what's over here. We want to go ahead and go after one of the... Let's get that. We're going to go after one of the wyverns, which I think is in this general area. It should be the crystal wyvern. I don't know. It's been a while since we've done this. Hopefully we're not going to have any problems. Sometimes when we do flying stuff, we've been having trouble on the server. Everyone else isn't having as much trouble as, uh, as we are, so I don't really know why we keep disconnecting. Let's go like that. Let's make a couple more just in case. I don't want us to have issues halfway down. Let's make like four more of those. All right, let's do this. It's kind of in a weird button being on the eight slot. Let's move it over to, oh no, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. We just pressed the wrong button. At least we didn't throw them off. There we go. All right, let's move this over to like the one spot right now. All right, you guys ready? Let's do this. All right. Let's go take a look at Crystal Isles. I figure this is a good way to do it. There we go. Parachuting down. We've got the amazing pants on, which I'm really excited about. But look at this. This place is so beautiful. So amazing. So excited to jump into Crystal Isles as we're falling down today. We want to go look around. We want to test, test out some of the Gaia dinos. We want to test out some of the Crystal Isle stuff. And we definitely want to do a little bit of the Archaic Ascension. Hopefully try to evolve one of those guys somewhat soon. We've got a Pteranodon, but he has to have 100 kills, which 100 kills with a Pteranodon is quite a grind. You wouldn't, you'd be surprised how long that takes. Uh, is that a drop? Let me see. Can I zoom? Oh, let's get out of there. No, no, not admin. What in the world's going on there? I'm trying to see what that is. I want to go down there, but we're fine. We're going to keep drifting this way. I want to get closer to over here. There is... Oh, there's Lid hanging out on an Anki. Very cool. Oh, no, that says Auto. Auto's down there. Okay. All right. Maybe it's that way. It's one of these little spots here that has little wyverns. As soon as we see wyverns, we'll know we're in the right spot. What is that? A Divine Turtle. Really good level, too. The arrows that we have are from the FMK station, and those do about 3,000 torpor apiece, which sounds like a lot until you start seeing some of these guys that have anywhere from like 12 to 50 and 60,000 torpor, and those are just low-level guys. We haven't even seen some of the bigger bad things on the map yet. All right, I think we're in the right area. So I started on that one. We came across. It's either a little bit further this way or a little bit further that way. What do we got there? Styracosaurus. Just a regular Pteranodon. We could have definitely flown down here. I don't know. I just want to do the parachute thing. Parachuting's fun. <gasps> There's a beaver. Hold on. A Castroids. That wouldn't be bad. That wouldn't be too bad. I don't know that... Oh, what's in there? Oh my god, look at that supply crate. It does not have much health. Hold on. Let's get our bird out. We're goofing off here, and there's a supply crate over there that says amazing things in it. There we go. Come on. Hopefully nothing bad to destroy my day over here. It's at 20 health. Come on. 20 seconds. And it's level 25, so we definitely got it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Take it all. Just take it all. <gasps> so many amazing things in there. Let's take a look at the hall real quick. So just from that one drop, this kind of shows you what we were getting. We have a... Ascendant Zinc Maul Weapon. Ascendant Zinc Axe. Some different pieces that go to the Gaia stuff. Some more Nitro, which helps with growing of things. A Kamoya Fruit. Delicious fruit used in different recipes. Consume it to slowly fill your stomach and heal your body. And then we got some saddles. Velonosaur. Demonic Shark. Demonic Velonosaur. Divine Morella Tops. And Divine Pteranodon. Alright, we can give Divine Pteranodon, guys. That would be kind of awesome. All right, let's start looking around. A Divine Basil. A Dreadful Capro. There's so many cool things on this map. We're going to have a lot of fun in this playthrough. All right, let's go ahead and pump a couple levels on our buddy here. A little bit of weight. A little bit of melee. Hopefully we don't lose him. I really don't want to lose him out here. But I don't know where these wyverns were. I know there's crystal wyverns somewhere out here. Are those more... Castroids, any high levels? A 560. We don't really need one. Oh, Divine Frog. Really? Hmm. 
The divine frog could be amazing. Takes four regular kibble, so we need to gather a little bit of metal to do that. And there's the uh, wyvern that we're looking for. All right. How much torpor do you have? 14.3. This is doable, man. Let's land up on the rock. And let's watch how bad we are at aiming. This is the only bad part about this. We are not good at aiming. So this is going to take a minute. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can eventually get this guy. No. Nope. I'm trying to time it to where he, like he's coming around the corner right when we do it. Oh, I felt like that was close. We could have actually made... <laughs> We're going to waste all of our arrows doing this. All right, let's get a little closer. He's going to wreck our day. Then we're just a little scared. Oh, I felt that was, like that was close. I don't know how, what it's doing when it hits the water. It might be falling, like, way under him. Okay, here we go. Dang. We should have definitely made a crossbow. What were we thinking? Crossbows. We know this. All right. That's a, a scary looking prana down there. All right, is, is there any way I can get any any bit closer? I don't think so. Okay, maybe with the top down, maybe with the top down, we'll have a chance to actually hit him. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> Uh, see, I feel like it's close, but... All right, let's come back to that. I definitely want to go for that frog, but with that bow and arrow without a crossbow, because if we had a crossbow, we'd go in the water at least. All right, let's look. Here we go. There's the wyvern. Tropical crystal wyvern takes 12 pure crystals or one primal crystal. How much health do they have? If we can find one that doesn't have that much health, we could take one out. And I've, I'm told that if you kill one, you can actually get some stuff from it, which we have that one at our base. We could kill it real quick. 360. 12,000 health. Yeah, see, it's not it's not aggressive. It is really pretty colors. All right, guys, I'm going to go back to the base. We might kill the one that we have because it's a really low level. It was a level 60. Uh, so let's go back there, and since we didn't tame it with you guys, it's expendable. We'll come right back here. And then we'll see if we can... Oh my god, what is in the water? A Megalodon. Manta. There's something right there. Oh, it's just a Megalodon and a Heavenly Dolphin. Alright, I'm going to go do this real quick. I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're going to try to actually do this thing with the, the Wyvern real quick. Let's drop all of these saddles in here. I've got saddles in one of these. There we go. Saddle. There we go. Saddles down. And then we can drop some of this other stuff. Let's just... Where's the Gaia stuff? Right here. Here we go. Gaia stuff. There we go. Let's put on some of that armor. That armor looks amazing. What is this? 100% more damage. That we're going to keep. Let's keep that. Throw that over there. That over there. I definitely want to keep that. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set it over here. And we'll keep these two armors. Let's see what the new armors look like. There we go. We're a little confused with our armor because we got bits and pieces from different things, but it's okay. Looks pretty amazing, right? I actually do like that armor set. That looks really good. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We did a little bit of testing, and we can't kill the wyvern. It's a PvE server, so I can't kill him. But we want to harvest him. So what we're going to do is let him take some fall damage. Really sorry about this, but since we didn't do this on our own, since or since we didn't tame this guy with you, we were going get, to get rid of him anyway. There we go. There we go. All right. Now, anything on there? No. Do I just harvest him? <gasps> I can't even... Oh, there we go. I was going to say we can't even harvest him. I was about to be really upset. All right. That's good. Now we got 11 primal crystals, and now we can tame a much better wyvern. So there you go. In order to tame a good wyvern, you got to kill some of the other wyverns, but... We kind of got a little cheat code with it. Let's go melee. Now, these guys, you cannot level speed. 
until you evolve them. So we will start trying to get a couple kills with this guy. I think we're going straight back this way. So anytime we see like a dodo or something like that, we should probably stop and go ahead and eat it, right? Let's go through here. This is Lid's base right here. Of course the fog's rolling in right as we're going through here. But look at that. She's got an amazing Rex right there that was basically stuck and scared her to death. It was like right in front of her. It was awesome. She sent us a picture and she was able to knock it out just sitting there right in front of her. All right, let's go. Let's test what kind of damage we're doing real quick. Uh, let's see, what was that? 429? That's not bad. Okay, come on. I actually lost him. Where'd he go? There he is. Come on. There we go. We've got one kill. One kill with our guy. Now we just need 99 more and we can evolve. All right, let's go look for this wyvern out here. There we go. I think that's him. The Tropical Crystal Wyvern. Kind of a cool color on this guy. Let's go ahead and put the kibble in the last slot. Put that away. And let's go feed him. Yeah, see? That easy, man. That easy. Oh, yes. 539 at Tropical Crystal Wyvern. Very, very cool. Oh, stop what we're doing. Stop. Hold the phone. This is a low level, but it would be a good starter guy, right? Don't fly too far, dude. I can't shoot that well. Oh, we got him. I'm as surprised as you are. Yes. Uh, we're also looking for a female trike, but we'll worry about that in just a second. What do you want? Regular kibble? Too easy. Let's do this. I've got our FMK. Oh, actually, hold on. What kind of kibble do I have Does it right there? Oh, that's simple. Dang. All right. We need to throw that down. And let's see. Do you give me any metal? How about you? Any metal? No. There's got to be somewhere here that gives you metal. Oh, check these out. I don't know if we showed you these in the first few videos. Look at that. Angler gel. Absolutely amazing. All right, let's test it on just a regular rock. A regular Beals Bufo. Nothing. Nothing at all. Man. We've got to find just a plain rock. Usually there's some in the water. Let me see if there's like one of the little just regular arc stones. I definitely don't see any. Oh, what is this? <gasps> Explorer note. Hold on. We're we're already level... Oh my god, we got 10 more levels just by whatever we did just now. There we go. Fortitude. And XP is only times 3, so I really don't understand this. Let's go wait. And... There we go. We're looking pretty good. We're looking really good. All right, yeah. I want to do... I guess we would like to do it on the bird because we want to use him to level and eventually evolve. So let's do this guy. Go ahead and get the note. Here we go. I didn't know they had notes on this map. Very cool. There we go. Yeah, there we go. What is this? This is a... I don't know. It's a note. <laughs> we'll just say it's a note. All right. Metal. We need metal real quick. And then we'll go back over there to our wyvern and hopefully get that bird tamed up real quick. Super easy tame. All right. Is there some regular stones over here in the water? Sometimes in the water there are. Okay. Give me a second to look for these guys. Uh, there is some here somewhere. Okay, we're looking around a little bit. I like that top of the mountain thing. You can see it's over there. It's like the tallest area on the map. But check this out. This place is amazing. I like this area a lot. This might be... Oh, man. We might have a hard time deciding if we're going to stay over there where we're at. That might get all broke down as we kind of decide. It... Oh, metal. Finally. Finally. I've gone everywhere looking for you. All right. Oh, I can't get off the bird. Let's go. Oh, man. Is it the saddle? There we go. All right. As much metal as I can carry. Probably not going to be that much. Can you still fly? A little bit. He does have some weight to pump. Go melee like crazy. 
We just need to make sure that we can start taking out some enemies. All right. I don't know if I can find back where we were at. But okay, no, we don't want to build here because there are metal spawns. And we definitely don't want to mess up the metal spawns. All right. We're going back out here somewhere. One of these first two islands. See if we can find our guy. And then we'll get the Pteranodon tamed up. Unless this is a better one. And then we'll just get distracted and get a better one. No, nope, that's 100. Not much better. But what I really want to do just in the end of all this is we want to take a Pteranodon, a vanilla one that we level up, you know, to beta and then alpha. And then kind of compare it to a divine Pteranodon to see how close they are. See if it's worth it. All right. There's the FMK station. All right. How are you doing? You still, you still knocked out? Sweet. And you need a regular kibble. All that for one regular kibble. Let's go kibble. Regular. Let's make like 10 of these. All right, we'll get one kibble. We'll feed you one kibble. And then we'll have our first divine pteranodon. Awesome, absolutely awesome. And we've got a saddle for this guy already back at the base too. Wait, did I put the right one on? Regular kibble. I was gonna say your food's been draining for a while, man, come on. There we go. So 119, not a great level, definitely really low. Uh, let's go like that, let's pick you up. And then grab all that, pick this up, and then we're actually going to pick up you instead. Although you still got that, he still got the XP going, let's not do that. Alright, let's put you guys both on neutral or passive, I mean. And what level are you? 340 female, we can make little baby trikes, that'd be kind of cool, but they're not really high level. Should we wait? Ah, oh, we could do it pretty easy, though. Let's see, 10,000? It's only three hits. One. Two. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Mistakes were made. Okay. Two. <laughs> there we go. Ow, that hurt. Thank goodness we got the good armor on, man. That was amazing. All right, and he wants simple kibble, so let's make some simple kibble now. I might already have it. No, regular... I have six simple. What do you want? You want five. That's not bad. All right. We're going to put all that on there. And then we're going to go try one more time with this uh, this frog that's over here. We're going to leave both these guys here kind of as our marker so we can find them easily. And I'm going to go spend just a little bit more time shooting at this frog over here. It's right on this edge. And we'll see if we can hit him. If I can hit him, I'll bring you guys back. If not, I'll meet you over at the wyvern with my head lowered in shame. Oh my god, we actually hit him. Oh god. Oh, he's getting up here though. Oh god. Oh god, we're gonna die. Oh, he's breaking our stuff. Come on, come on. Tank him. We've got the amazing armor. We got this. <gasps> he's out. He's out. <laughs> he's out. He wants regular kibble. Uh, I did pick the station up. Nice. Alright, what kind of kibble do I have on me? We made a bunch of regular kibble already. Oh, amazing. There we go. Alright. He just wants four of this. So split it. Give him six. That's what I'm talking about, man. We're going to get all the teams in this episode. It's going to be a really fun episode. All right. Uh, man, I don't even know why this guy's amazing. I'm just really excited to have him. All right, let's see if we can start unlocking some of these saddles then. Uh, let's see. Is there Wyvern saddles? It doesn't look like it. Is there Beals, Zabufo saddles? Yes. Oh, God, we're out. Oh, good. We're in our Ingrams at least. <laughs> we are definitely knocked out. That guy did all the torpor to us. All right, I wonder if he's a knockout machine or if it's just when he hits us. All right, Beals Bufo. What is the other thing that we got? Uh, Pteranodon we already unlocked. Let's see, Raptor. Need to go ahead and unlock. All right. There we go. All the different Dreadful Raptor, Dreadful Raptor, Dreadful Raptor. There we go. All right, guys. Let me wait to get up for a minute, and then we'll uh, carry on with what we're doing. All right, there we go. There's the trike. So trike up. All right, let's go ahead and pick all these guys up. We've got a couple more soul balls. Here we go. Let's go with this one. Did I already pick the other? We did get the divine. I don't even remember doing the divine pteranodon. All right, grab that back. And then we'll pick this guy up. There we go. And he's got wyvern milk on him. Okay, that's the thing. And then we'll uh, grab a little bit more crystal, and then we'll be able to grab this, this uh, what is he, the Beelzebufo? 
should be up, I think. Let's go over here. We'll get some of this crystal that's on the edge. I just don't want to get attacked. I don't think there's anything bad in this area, but just in case. I did see a couple leeches, so we'll avoid those guys. All right, come on. Let's go over here. Oh, man, we get so much stuff. Look at that. All right. Now we can make some more of the soul balls. Oh, well, we can make all of them. All right. Hopefully I'm not too heavy. Let's go check on this guy. Nope, we're good. We got two more levels ourselves. We're already up to level 56. Absolutely amazing. The frog should be tamed up. Let's go find out. He was already at like 80% last time I checked on him. Fingers crossed. Yeah, there we go. The Divine Beals of Bufo, level 869, not too bad. What level were you? 580, so is that a... 580, isn't it supposed to come out at... That might be right, I don't know, I, I, we're not mathing it right now, let's see. Let's get Soul Ball. Alright man, super awesome. We do gotta take out a couple of Divines if we wanna be able to make saddles for these guys. Uh, let's go ahead and pick this guy up. And then we we need to look at the Beals Bufo saddle. All right, the divine one. I need five divine souls for that. So we might have to do a little face wrecking with our trike. That's probably our strongest thing so far. The Beals Bufo might be pretty tough, but we just don't have any. We can't ride it just yet. So let's do this real quick. We don't have a lot of time left in this recording. We're pretty much over time already. So if we're going a little long, I apologize. But we want to get this other saddle. Oh my God, what is that? A Guardian Dodo. Not tameable. 99,000 health. We're not going to do anything with that. <laughs> Nothing we can do there. Okay. Let's get this trike out. Let's go Divine Trike. And we'll go... And if you guys leave any names for any of the creatures, we are recording three or four episodes in a row. So it'll be just a day or two before we actually get to the names. There we go. Alright. Let's ride our Super Trike. Oh no. Is that the wrong trike? It was. Here we go. There we go. I know. You guys are going to be best friends. All right. Let's try this again. And we'll eventually have a soul gun so we can do this quicker. There we go. All right. And this is a lower one. What was the other one? Trike. 509. And this one's only 313. So that's definitely a big upgrade. All right. Let's go see if we can smash a couple divines and get ourselves a couple divine souls. All right. Here we go. First one. Hopefully we can hold him back. Oh, yeah, he's nothing at all. Come on. There we go. One divine soul plus a couple really cool things. Oh. Something hit. Hold on. His, like, spikes hit me even though he was dead. That was weird. Interesting. All right. Here we go. The hunt for a couple more. All right. This should be number five, guys, I think, if we're counting correctly. Oh, it's a 520. No, we still want to do it. I wasn't sure for a second. There we go. Come on. There we go. This is taking a long time. This is a big battle. Holy cow, this guy's a lot tougher than I thought. Make sure he doesn't have any other attacks that I don't know about. Alright, just making sure. There we go. Alright, do that. I need to turn off harvesting with this trike because we're getting full on our inventory like every two seconds. Hold on, we gotta do that with ourselves too. Um, drop that. There we go. I just want to make sure we still get the divine soul. Come on. Finish him. We're so close. Alright. Drop everything. There we go. Finally. Okay, did we get enough divine souls? Divine. We've got five of them. Absolutely perfect. Awesome. Super amazing. All right, let me fly back to base. We'll get ourselves a frog saddle, and then we'll be good to go. All right, we realize we don't have our guy station up here. We're going to fly down and do it real quick. Uh, you know what? We can build another one up here real quick. I think we have enough supplies for it now. So let's go Gaia. Now, after looking around, I don't think we're going to stay up here. I'm, we have to go do more investigation of the entire map i want to go see what else is out there before we decide exactly where we want to build there's just too many cool spots to just say we're going to definitely build here that would be crazy because there's just too much 
All right, uh, we're missing. Oh, I have the divine souls. We're missing what? Are we are missing metal. We need a little bit more metal, so I'm gonna have to work on the metal. I'll do that in between episodes. But there's the the new guys. That's the ones added to the team today to include the little trike over here. We'll do a little trike baby in the next couple episodes as well. But there you go. That, these guys are amazing, man. I'm really really excited about it. The wyvern is a lot of fun. We'll definitely fly him around a little bit. Uh, but yeah. Pretty cool. We can fly around kind of quick. This guy's got okay attacks. He's not super strong. Let me kind of show you what he's doing damage-wise. Uh, they're, they're just straight vanilla wyverns, so they're not going to be crazy amazing, but they should be decent. Uh, let's see. Anything down here that I can eat for testing purposes? A divine dillo. That'll work. All right. Let's go ahead and pump melee a little bit since we do got a couple levels. There we go. He's got a right click, which does a pretty cool attack. Let's, let's take a look at this guy. Look at that. He looks cool, man. There you go. He definitely looks amazing. If we can get a better picture of him. Look at that. And there we go. Definitely like it. Alright, let's see what this attack does. Alright. So the left click does 293. The right click does a whole bunch of 97s. <laughs> Not bad at all, actually. There we go. We gather a little bit. Not bad. Not bad. He's kind of a mini face wrecker. He's not going to do anything against the little, the bigger guys. We're going to have a hard time there. But we definitely got to do some flying around the map and look for a better base place. I like the idea of building just on top of this gigantic mountain. It, I think it'll be a lot of fun. But we definitely got to fly around and see if we find a better base place. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. So let me know. If you guys know anything about Crystal Isles, tell me where a cool spot is. I thought about going over there to those rocks over there. I thought about going to the desert. I've never really built in the desert before. That'd be kind of fun. Maybe we could work with Adobe a little bit. And what else is out there? I don't even know. That's the only things I know. We don't know anything else. We're really excited to go see what the rest of this map has to offer. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. It might have went a little bit long today because we did a lot of stuff today. We were all over the place. Wow. That's not good. <laughs> but definitely excited. And I need to go back and watch a video from one of my favorite YouTubers, Frogman, to make sure he didn't build here because I don't want to build in the same area as him again because I did that on Extinction. And I, I don't want to do the same kind of thing. I want to do something a little bit different. But, all right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode of Ark Survival Evolved with Crystal Isles, Gaia, and Archaic Ascension. Thanks, guys.